Hello everyone, hope you're doing quite well. This is Project Winter. I am with the lovely, the talented, the amazing Triple G87, as you now know her as Freddy said, Indie Games. Ty Ty, are you ready to kick the living shit out of Project Winter? Sure, why not? You only live once. Let's do this. YOLO, baby. YOLO. <laughs> right. Alright. Uh, searching, searching, searching. Invite friends. Now, how the fuck did they expect you to... <laughs> to invite? Yeah, invite friends. You need mm -hmm. to enable Steam Overlay. What? I did not enable the Steam Overlay. Hmm. Let me see. They are. Uh, Hold on. They are killing me with that. Okay. Da 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 da. da. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna bring the game back up. Okay, got it enabled again somehow. Somehow it's disabled. Okay. Well, you know what, game? I'm getting real tired of your caca because I enabled it. First <laughs> that hasn't. I'm leaving that. In this, I'm leaving that in this recording. I don't even give a crap anymore. Um. <laughs> yeah, shift tab. Mhm. Mm they can. Kiss my nipples. All right. Mm. <laughs> Are you having trouble? Um... I just enabled the stuff. What the fuck is wrong with you, video game? Alright, let me see. You try it, because I'm about to throw a recording across the room here. Alright, so I sent you the invite. Alright, let's see. Let's play a video game. Yeah, see, that let me in, you're no problem. Yeah, that's weird. That's bizarre. Like, I literally to it was toggled, checkmarked, and everything, so I unchecked it, rechecked it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, somehow it'll be my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else will come I'll dog pile on top of me going, No, you asshole! You <laughs> come this way and you were supposed to didn't cross across the bridge to talk to a gnome that was 50 yards away. You're supposed to know this information. It's like, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was supposed to play Connect 4 before I went across the fucking bridge, alright? Motherfucker, get off my balls! <laughs> but, um, yeah. You will begin as a survivor. Alright, so... It needs you to click play for us. Yep. All in the hopes of calling for rescue. Alright, Dad. The traitor's goal is to stop them. Tasks will appear in the top right corner of your screen. Okay. Beacons can also... This game's a magical game. You must be prepared. <laughs> It looks good, though. You know, it reminds me a lot of For the King. Yeah. The... Uh, yeah. It's a great-looking game. I mean, I played some of it before, and now it's just... I'm run. It's being silly. Mm. Well, I guess we're all waiting. I'll just look at the rewards and all that. Alright, so they give us crates. These are not loot crates, of course. Not to be confused with that. Ah. John Wick. Oh, Jesus Christ! These names. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. So these names are actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Except into one of them there, but. Right. Big booty head. That's the most filtered out conservative way to say big ass head. Exactly. It's 
So I guess we're waiting for two other people to join. Yeah. What the fuck are these names? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's 2019, you know. <laughs> it is. This is a fucking funny ass name. As you would say, it is 2019. We need to accept it. <laughs> huh. I don't know. I think I would have liked the, some type of a background right here so it wasn't just like a solid black background. Or, you know, but that's just me. I like my Kenny look here. Aww, is that you right there? Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just so beefy. Alright. I forgot how I punch. Oh. Left. No, 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 I was using the gamepad too. Really? I didn't realize you could uh, use gamepad because I've been using the. Yeah, mine isn't using gamepad, so I'm using actually keyboard and mouse. Punch these flowers here. Them fibers. You know what? This right here is 10 out of 10 already for the Streets of Rage style uh, <laughs> crafting system. So, did you like that bare knuckle 2 commercial there from Japan? Ah, it was interesting. I forgot how to pick up items. Oh, so, uh, got it. Okay. I'm more impressed with the fact that my character can bare knuckle punch down a fucking tree. That that's like some Guy must have been a bare knuckle brawler up in <laughs> And the communication seems like in this game is pretty good. Yeah. Like everyone seems to be out just to literally craft. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. And so I got two of that, some... Alright, so we can craft... Axe, pickaxe. Both a stone and a piece of log. Crap that. That. No, no, no. It's definitely that. interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna share some berries. Okay, I'm gonna smack this tree. Who do you work for, a tree? Who do you work for? Tell me.
Very interesting game. Yeah, it's not too shabby. The fact, though, I got my freaking pickaxe somehow trapped inside the thing, though. Damn traps. Ow. Mm. They just replant it. They just replant it. What? Wait, wait, replant it? No, they replanted some fucking bear traps in front of the door, so I go in there to go put some stuff in there, come out, fucking step on them. Pretty dickish. Oh, that's a saboteur. Very interesting game. Basically, the uh, dickhead left my corpse out by the right-hand side and left bear traps in front of the door, and he's currently planting more. Mm. I'm just like literally running around as a ghost. Yeah. I mean, the game's interesting at all, but it's very boring at the same time. I think one of the things that it's kind of lacking, in my opinion, is um, it doesn't have a lot of 
you know, a lot of, um, like, music. And I think if it had music, that might make it a little bit, you know, better. Yeah. I mean, it's, this game would probably be only interesting for really... I'll just stand here, basically, because I can't do much else. Mm. Um, so, it's basically... For those who like games like Rust, I suppose, which I'm not yeah. really into Rust at all. I mean, it, I will say it does give it an interesting concept. Though, because, you know, you have those that play as, um, as the, survivors and then the right, tour. exactly, so it does kind of give it, something, you know, a little different, I guess you could say. Gone bear, you don't want none of this. That guy's just a moose up in the distance. And... Yeah, watch out in the front of the uh, cabin. Guy keeps planting a bunch of bear traps. Okay. I think it does, in a way, need to have a better understanding. Yeah, like it needs some more context, right? Because it's mean, like, I'm your... a little lost because I'm not exactly sure on what it is I need to be doing. You're supposed to be, uh, there's certain, be, are supposed to be certain objectives, which I think it's supposed to bring it up somewhere on the screen. Yeah, you. it does. It brings it up in the right hand corner. Yeah, so you're supposed to basically go and knock down, you know, rocks and trees and shit. And so you're supposed to build stuff at the workbench inside the, the building that we came in from. Right. And then you're supposed to then from there craft all these materials and go and find these objectives and build them basically and make sure the saboteur don't come around and mess with you. Mm, right. I mean, that I understood, but it doesn't matter. I'm dead now, but oh, that's why, dead. yeah, I just wish they kind of would have put a little more. Kind of like a little mini video saying, you're right. surviving. You know, well, they, like and that. when I watched it, it did. It popped up with like a little thing, but I guess it would be like, I just would want to know exactly a little bit more on what um each of the things do you know as you know a survivor or as a saboteur that would have helped a heck of a lot because they kind of touch on it briefly but it doesn't exactly you 
you know, give you a lot of information. It's like it does, but it doesn't at the same time. Right. And then another thing I would like to for them to add, I mean, I see that there is a map here, but then I guess they didn't do that because then it wouldn't, technically it wouldn't be a survival game. Because <laughs> when you're surviving, you're, you pretty much kind of are a little out there blind, so... Yeah, as far as this goes, though, I'm pretty much over it now, but um, I mean, overall, it's good, but not my cup of tea. For me, if they could just change it just a little bit and explain it just a little bit more, I think I could actually possibly get into it. And then, too, I think there should be a way to be able to kill the animals, because I was mauled to death by a bear. That's what killed me was a bear and I couldn't really fight it. Or at least it didn't have like a health bar to tell me if I was even doing damage to it. So that's something that definitely obviously uh, needs to be worked on. I think though Project Winter is still in early access too though. Yeah like there's things like you can make like an assault rifle or whatever on the, the board like the uh, craft bench. Yeah. But again that's you know, it, it's like for me, it the game doesn't suck at all. Like it isn't. This isn't me saying the game sucks because I don't happen to like it. It's just sort of like to me, it doesn't feel as satisfying to want to learn. That, like yeah. I'm, I'm just playing it, and all I'm doing is simply just dying off. Or I'm just. I mean, it isn't that I'm a bad player of games. Just to me, these type of games. Um, obviously they're not supposed to tell us everything, but then they're supposed to tell us enough to get, uh, rolling into it. Yeah, I think too, what would have even been nice, and this is just me, um, is if they would, like you said, um, even if they don't include it directly in the game, if mm. they could actually make a YouTube video kind of showing what does what for those that do kind of want the more in-depth into what each side does. You know, like, what do you do as the traitor, and what do you do exactly do as the saboteur? Because, I mean, I know our objectives of it are in the corner, but it was certain things I just didn't really understand, you know. Uh, so making that a little more clearer would be a good thing. Um, I would like some type of ambient music, personally, to kind of build up the intensity of it. Um, that that's one of the things because to me the game is just way too quiet which I know that you know some people are like well it's building the atmosphere but it's ambience yeah I mean the you ambience know, part I'm, I'm, I'm personally fine with, with it like I'm not I'm like I don't know I want I just want a little something just a little something I guess but that's just me well I think with that is no longer exiled. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like for me with games like this, it's like I don't mind just having like the snow sound effects in the background and all that. And like that is something I'm not quite gonna, you know, feel too bad about. Mm -hmm. Like I, I like the fact that sometimes there's certain games that doesn't quite need music and there's others that do. Right. Um, this is mostly just tension because it's so quiet. You don't know who's gonna come up on you and you know jump on your ass like that that uh, bastard before there. But um, <laughs> had other choice words for him, but you know, I'm an adult. Not really. Um, <laughs> All right. For me, my thing too was they needed to make it to where you can attack the animals. You know, I had a pickaxe, and I'm hitting this bear with this pickaxe, and this bear is literally, like, mauling me. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, we got... Yeah, I mean, that much is certain. Like, 
they basically I think the way only way we can really fight fight with it I think it's you, it's a gun more than likely yeah the assault rifle and the craft bench yeah like again that, that's how much as I can gather is like it seems like the only way of survival is one or two things the bear traps with bears and people and uh, assault rifles yeah Anyway, I mean, I'm just running around here as a ghost, so I'm kind of really my right now. My, uh, me too, so I think, um, I guess that would probably end this uh, video footage of Project Winter. Like I said, to me, it does need some work. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not going to completely just toss it out, because this is the first time that I've played. So for me, I just can't simply just be like, oh, the game, I don't want to ever play this again. I, I'd like to see... Um, what else they do with this game to be honestly truthful but right now for me I don't know if I could really 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 get into it into it maybe if I yeah. learn it a little bit better maybe but right now because like I said right now I'm just running around as a ghost so yeah I'm just like looking at shit so I, I mean I, don't get me wrong I like museums and all but yeah, not when I'm playing a game. I was gonna say, yeah, it doesn't look like you can exit out of the game until the uh, match is over. Oh no, you just uh, mm -hmm. pre go on, grab, pick up your gamepad, press start. <laughs> my, I was gonna say, my gamepad's not working. Oh, it isn't? No. Uh, escape wasn't working? Yeah, now it is. It, escape wasn't even working, but now it is. Alright. But anyway, everyone, I love you all. See you next time. <laughs>